Hey, how's it going everybody? This is GC Performance here back with another video. Today I have another fad, another craze, another new type of wheel going out there. This is the new Zip 303S model. This is their hookless rim. This is more of like their road or gravel. They're, they're, they're claiming it as their road rim, but this is gonna be more maybe towards, aimed towards uh, their gravel rim. But uh, this is the hookless craze and phenomenon. So uh, low air pressures, uh, low tire pressures, you know, wider tires, all that jazz and, and the benefit behind it. I didn't really understand what the benefit of a hookless rim was. I mean, I asked even the rep of, of the wheels and he was saying like, you know, it's, it's lighter, you can run a lower tire pressure, but I mean, I figured majority of wheels nowadays can, can do that as is. So it didn't really make any sense until I, I started digging and doing some research and it made a little bit more sense. But these right here, these are the Zip 303S, the hookless versions of them. They retail for $1,300. Uh, USD and they come in at a weight of 1,553 grams as you see so 1,553 grams as you see it that's including the rim tape that's including the valves that's including the XDR driver but that is what the actual weight of these wheels is is 1,553 grams but so the benefit behind a hookless wheel is that they're going to say one it's more cost effective so cost effective to make which means cheaper retail price for consumers which is $1,300 which I think is a great deal for especially a pair of, let's say gravel bike or, or even just road rims. Um, and two, they say it's more impact resistant because it's a hookless rim. They don't have to worry about uh, molding and shaping this up here. They can make this stronger so you don't have that little curve inside there and that can take a bigger impact. Um, and which is beneficial when you're running a lower tire pressure, you want a wheel that can withstand that. So that's the whole deal behind hook, hookless is that you can run a lower tire pressure and it can take more of a, um, a beating as well. So lower cost effective and can take a better beating, which is uh, pretty good if you, if you ask me, especially for gravel, which is nice. Um, the depths on a 303 is a 45 millimeter. These are a full carbon wheel. It is only a disc compatible. There is no more rim brake. So they're only going disc brake model on these. They do still make a, a rim brake model of the 303s, but um, these 303 S's are going to be disc brake only. Um, the axle compatibilities for this, these are not road boost compatible, so these will not work with the Specialized Diverge right now. Uh, I talked to my rep, they said they might make different end caps, but the front is a 12 by 100, and the rear is a 12 by 142. And this wheel set comes stock with the XDR driver. Um, you can be compatible with a Shimano, you can swap this out for a Shimano driver, you can put a Campy driver on there, whatever you want to do on there. Um, but these are the cheaper hubs. These actually sound pretty good, but let's see. Not too bad. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, I did have another customer come out here while I was doing the review and just start talking to me. I don't know why, but I guess, you know, I'm off the clock, but they come over. This is my friends. My customers are always my friends, so they come over there and start talking to me. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, the hubs are the SRAM XDR. They have a nice paw system in there as well. The, you know, you, you, you know the, the typical zip sound. Very nice. A lot of engagement on there. Um, but yeah, so... Center lock, they come in only center lock disc brakes as well. Uh, the internal width on here as well for these tires or for these rims are 23 millimeters on the internal. At the widest part in the external is gonna be 27 millimeters, which uh, is pretty wide for a road wheel for sure. I mean, that's almost like mountain bike territory. Um, and they're saying, they're they're proclaiming that you can only fit the, the widest you wanna put on there. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the, the shallowest or the, the skinniest tire you can put on here is a 28 or above. So they're not recommending you put on a 25 on there. Um, the SRAM rep said you could get away with a 25 if you really wanted to on these models, not the other ones, but he said just for safety wise, all 28s and above. So 28, 30s, 32s, 33s, whatever you want to do there. And, um, the max PSI you can put in here, this is important. The max PSI you can put in these tires is 80 PSI or 72 PSI. Uh, so that's the biggest amount of PSI you can put on there. And the idea behind this is when you put on a 30, a 32, uh, on, on a wheel like this, and you run out of 80 PSI. Yes, it's gonna be very comfortable. You're not gonna get fatigued as much. Your body won't get beat up as much. You'll be more fresh for longer or longer rides. But also once that tire gets going, you start spinning, like acceleration, yes, it's gonna be slow, but you start spinning with a 30 and you have that pressure on there. As you start getting up more and more speed, this is gonna go taller and taller. And the tire of a 30 will be taller than a 28 or 26 at top end speeds. And now again, a bigger wheel diameter will make it more speed at higher end speed so it's actually nicer and you'll see more and more people riding bigger tire pressure now i'm not a fan of the lower tire pressure like 80 psi and stuff like that i'm kind of old-fashioned like 120 i used to do 130 140s back in the day 
that's just old school ride that's what I was growing up on but everyone's going to this water tire everyone's going to this tubeless tires phenomenon um so uh, I still haven't gone over to that leap I'm still running just tubes of mine because I just like the idea of changing quickly but this seems to be I don't know if this is a stick uh, I, these are a this is a road wheel but I think they're more marketed towards gravel and uh, we'll see what happens with hookless. I got another customer I'm doing actually an S-Works Tarmac build, an SO7. He got Envy, the new Envy hookless wheels with um, the hookless tires as well. And also on these zip wheels, this is another important thing. There's only three type of tires he said you can put on here. I think they're like zip, some kind of German company, which is not continental. Continental tubeless tires do not work on here. And another tire, I know I'm horrible at that, but he said that if you are gonna buy these, look up what tires are compatible. There's only three specific types. Uh, he recommends zips with them the most because obviously it's a proprietary tire it's going to work with it the best but yes uh so that is the idea behind hookless wheels uh that they're going to do that he said if you also run that hookless tire by zip you can put a tube in there if you really wanted to but i mean if you're going to get these wheels you're obviously running tubeless you're buying them for a tubeless reason so there's no point to it but if you do get a flat on the road you can throw a tube in there so you're good to go there um but yeah that's going to do it for this review guys so just to cap it off at the end zip 303 s carbon wheels 45 millimeter depth carbon rim they are disc brake only compatible the weight of them is 15 1553 grams um center lock disc only front through axle is going to be a 12 by 100 the rear axle is going to be a 12 by 142 for spacing they are not boost spacing they will not work with the new, the new diverge so you'll have to put them on something different and um they retail for 1300 dollars so max PSI is 80 PSI. Minimal tire you can put on there is 28. So just keep that in mind. But very nice wheels for what they are. If you're looking for a nice budget wheel, Zip is a great company, so it's not gonna be budget at all. It's gonna be very high end budget price, if that makes sense. I know it's kind of redundant, but you know, um, it's a very nice wheel for what you're getting your money on. And Zip is a very reputable company, so you're gonna get a nice, uh, a nice thing on here. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you're a fan of this hookless craze, if you don't even know what it means, comment that as well. I mean, I can get some I can get some tuba CLX 50s and run 80 PSI if I really wanted to as well. So I don't know. We'll see what this hookless does. We'll see if it's a flip or flop. Uh, but uh, I'm excited to see what happens with these wheels and see where this market goes. I like innovation. I like to see what happens. And I'm all for it if it's something new. Something that's less hurt on my body, I love it. So if you liked the video, please leave me a big thumbs up comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.